Hi guys and welcome to a new video on Sonal's life. I am very sorry it's been about two weeks since I last posted but hashtag adult life is hard and complicated. But I am back with a special video and hopefully from the title you'll understand what I'm talking about. Basically at the start of the Kazuna Road Tour I was very excited because New Japan announced that the Young Lions, so Yota Suji and Yuya Uemura were going to be having a gauntlet. Now basically it's not like any other tournament, the idea was that on each night of the Road 2 tours the two Young Lions would battle against some of the best of New Japan. So we had the likes of Suzuki, Dangerous Tekkers, Tanahashi, Okada, Okan and Ibushi. And it was just really to give them some, a lot of really well needed momentum and experience from battling some of the best guys in the company and it finished this week and I thought rather than wait until I do the Kazuna Road Tour sh review which will probably be jam-packed because there's a lot that's happened and a lot that's going to happen I thought I'm going to take a time to slow down and focus on our two young lions that are currently in New Japan performing literally every show so yeah, I'm going to look through each of the guys' matches, which stood out for me, and really what I see in the future for these two guys. I did a video a few months ago looking at all the Young Lions, so in America and in Japan, but this time we're going to focus on Suji and Yuomura, so let's get going. Right, so let's start with Yuomura. Instead of going like 1-1-1, one, 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 I'm going to focus on each guy first, and we'll start with Yuomura. Now this is a big thing because pretty much for the past few months, past few years, they have built Uemura as a junior heavyweight, which I've said this with Shingo, can somebody check this guy's weight because he cannot be a junior, he's a big boy, but like, like very well built. But as a junior heavyweight it was always going to be hard for him to battle some of these guys, but oh my god, like Uemura, I am very proud of everything he accomplished. So during his gauntlet he had, I'm going to have to look down for this, Suzuki, Zack Sabre Jr, Tanahashi, Taichi and Kotobushi in that order. Now that's not an easy job. I mean, he started with Suzuki. We saw in like previous tours that basically Umar has been not baiting Suzuki, but someone like calling him out saying, I want to wrestle you, Suzuki. Yes, Suzuki beat the living crap out of him, as expected, but Umar put up a fight. He was trying to adapt his style a style which is very standard Young Lion and trying to beat Suzuki at his own game he, he tried the submissions, he was trying to weaken him and it wasn't like a match where basically Suzuki just cleaned the floor with him I think he went over 10 minutes and I think any match with a Young Lion that goes over 10 minutes proves that that Young Lion is really like clutching at straws and it was a similar with the match against Zack Sabre Jr. Uemura's a junior heavyweight, quite high, like you see him do the drop kicks, but he took it to the mat with Zack Sabre Jr. Even though Zack said he doesn't want <laughs> Uemura in his dojo, his vegan sober noodle dojo working progress title, because he's way too handsome. I think I could really see Uemura sort of coming to the UK for his excursion and adapting more of a British style. Yes, I said he's quite a big boy, but he's also got a very lean frame. And seeing how he was trying to like battle Zack Sabre Jr. with his own submission style, like I was very impressed. Like it's not an easy thing to go against Zack. Yes, Zack is probably smaller and skinnier and lighter, but the way he manipulates his body, and I think that he did very well considering that they are two of the best submission wrestlers in the game. And he actually, like, Yumara, like, didn't give them a walk in the park. Like, they were both sweating after the match. And you literally, like, you can't ask for anything more, especially considering he is still a young lion and Suzuki and Zack are veterans, both in Japan and the UK. Then we got to a bit more of, like, the usual wrestling. So his next three opponents was Tanahashi, Taichi, and Ibushi. Now, the matches against Ta Tanahashi, as expected, it was a very clean fight. I think it went about 13, 14 minutes. And it's something I want to point out with Suji. I think out of most of the matches, Tanner's went the longest with both lines on average. But it's with these, like, especially with Tai Chi. Tai Chi is a very strong wrestler and he's using lariats and his strikes. And it felt especially with that because I know how stiff, like, Tai Chi's uppercuts are and, like, his lariats. He kept 
fighting. Romero kept getting up. And I think, like, it's one of those things that, yes, everyone's like, oh, young lions have to have heart, blah, blah, blah. But you see it in these gauntlet matches that they keep getting beaten down and beaten down. But they keep fighting. And I love Tai Chi. I think even Tai Chi was like, you know what? Fair enough. You did quite well. However, personally for me, the standout match was between Ibushi and Uemura, which was the last gauntlet. You know why? Because I think they're both as nuts as each other. Like, Uemura was just like slapping him, kicking him. And at one point I thought Ibushi had gone into crazy Ibushi mode. Like, how does a young lion put Ibushi in such a state that he goes into that crazy mood? But on the other hand, I think I saw a crazy Uemura. Like, something flashed in his eyes. And I don't think he could feel any pain. It was crazy. Even in the end when... They finally got, when Ibushi obviously finally got the win, Uemura was still going, still trying to fight and I think that's going to prove very beneficial in the future because if you can like keep fighting against Ibushi even when you've been pinned, that is saying something. The next person is obviously my boy Suji and he started off his gauntlet against his mentor, his idol, the ace, the most handsome man in the universe, Hiroshi Tanahashi is there um like i said with uemura tanahashi's matches sort of went a bit over like over the time loop compared to the other wrestlers but it was a very good match like what i loved most and this is what i want to see more out of the young lions is it wasn't suji versus his mentor tanahashi it was suji versus the ace of the universe tanahashi from the very beginning he was being cheesy slapped tanahashi and i think tanahashi was taken back by that and that's what we need. We don't want to see them respecting their senpais. We want to see them having this heart and saying, yes, we respect you in a way, but we want to beat you up as well. And I think that's one of the things that, with this group of young lions, especially Suji and Uemura, because they have been a young lion for so long, not had the chance to go in the excursion, they are growing in confidence so much the confidence that sometimes we don't see until after Young Lions have come back from an excursion. The next two were slightly different. So Suji went up against Tai Chi and Okada. Like with Uemura, the Tai Chi match was great. You've got two very big men going at it, hitting each other. And I think, you know, Suji even got a place in the Tai Chi sumo wrestlers dojo. But the one match which surprised me was his match against Okada. It was very quick, I think about eight minutes. And what's funny is all of the rest of the wrestlers, like even some of the members of Suzuki Goon, which I'll talk about in the next match, was like, oh, okay, fair enough, like I respect, like you did well, like considering you're a young lion. Okada, Okada, it looked like Okada was well going for a trip in the park and he met an inconvenient child and just flicked him off like that. Like beat him very easily. It was two guys with amazing drop kicks, but, Okada pinned him and then just walked off and I think that is the sort of thing that is going to happen like they've been young lions for so long it's the running thing that Suji is right by the time Okada was hit when Okada was his age he'd already gone on excursion he'd won several world heavyweight championships and Suji is still a young lion but and I think that's a similar thing to Okan Okan and Suji their Young Lion days overlap, so I think it's similar with, like, I was going to say Kawato, Master Wato and Okan went on an excursion, just as I think Suji and Uemura were coming into the dojo. And Okan also pretty, made pretty quick work of Suji and brushed him off. One person who is respecting my boy Suji is my fellow countryman, Zack Sabre Jr. He's really shown, like, a very... I won't say a soft side, but like a very respectful and like appreciative side of the Young Lions. So after their match, which once again, Zach obviously won in slightly longer time than expected, Zach invited him to the Soy Boy Dojo. He made this huge thing about how Suji has this desire to go to Mexico, but instead he should train with Zach or go to the UK to sort of hone his submission skills because during his match with Zach, Rather than focusing on that Lucha Libre stuff, he was trying to play Zack's game. And the funny thing was after that, 
We obviously know that Naito and Sonata are challenging for the tag titles. Zack was like, we're not going to let them challenge. Can we have Suji and Yuamura challenge instead? And yes, it might have seemed like they were taking the mick a bit. But I think, especially with Zack, he is starting to see these young lions grow and he sees potential in them and maybe potential suzuki Goon members. So that was the gauntlet. It's a bit of a rush through because I just want you to take like, I know some people don't watch the Road 2 shows. If you're not going to watch them, go through and watch these gauntlet matches. They're probably about 50 minutes each for each guy with all their matches. And it just proves how much potential they have. And like, I'm so excited to see what happens next. And personally, it's sort of hard considering all the circumstances. Ideally, they would be going on excursion right now. I would love to see Suji in Mexico. I think for someone of that build to come back and be like a lucha guy would be something that nobody's seen before. He could be like a Jeff Cobb, someone who combines power, athleticism, and this agility. For Uemura, I really hope, unlike other guys, that he does continue wanting to be a junior heavyweight. But, like we've seen in his match with Zach, and even with Ren Narita, focus more on his submission style. So maybe going more of the way of Kanemaru Desperado, or maybe even Yo, who he does look up to, who is the pure embodiment of pure Japanese strong style, combining junior heavyweight wrestling, strong style, and a very good submission base. And I think, I've, like, I've said it in the past, I said Narita and Shota are amazing. However, with this so much experience that these two guys, just the two of them, and I'd say Gabe as well, have had over the past year and a half with the pandemic, they are literally must be two of the strongest young lions I've seen since I started watching and even considering the class of Finley, Juice, Jay and Rapongi 3K. So yeah, let me know, what do you think of our young lions, of our Suji and Yuamura? Which were your favourite gauntlet matches and what do you see in the future? Are we going to see a future IWGP Junior and World Heavyweight Champion? Are we going to see two guys who decide to team together like Rapongi 3K? Let me know in the comments. And you know what, like always, remember, like, share and subscribe. I will be back for some more videos and hopefully they will start to be more consistent once I try to balance New Japan, my real job, and just everything else. So I will see you guys soon. Bye!